What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 13 in the math 3 questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question is asking us to describe the effect on the graph of this function, k times x minus 2 to the fourth, uh, where k is positive as k increases. And the big skill that this question is testing, sorry, I forgot to write it before I started filming, is transforming functions. Now this one, actually, since it's just asking about the effect of one change, uh, we can go ahead and do some of this in the calculator. So since it says if k is positive, we're trying to figure out the effect on the graph of this as k increases. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick like a before value of k and an after value of k. So for before, let's use k equals 1, and for after, let's use k equals 3. So here's my calculator. I'm at my y equals screen, and I'm going to go ahead and type in this function, except where k equals 1. So that's 1 times x minus 4 raised to the fourth power. And this little caret here is how I put that exponent of 4 in. So I graph it, and it looks like this. Okay, interesting. So let's change this to a 3, and then see what happens. It looks like it's in about the same place, but it does look like it's either been squeezed in this way or stretched out this way. And in fact, if we change this number outside our parentheses, we consider that to be sorry for my bad handwriting, but we call it vertical stretch. And we can kind of see that that happened here, because if I actually go ahead and graph the original function. The wider one is the original, the narrower one is the after we increased k. So we can kind of see how the narrower one could happen if we just stretched out the wider one um, vertically. So, stretched vertically. Now shifted up and shifted down, um, that would be if we added or subtracted some number outside our parentheses here. And then a uh, horizontal stretch is what happens when we have some number inside the parentheses multiplied by x. And actually, horizontal stretch is what happens when this number that we're multiplying by x gets smaller, gets closer to 0. So that's a quick overview of the different kind of transformations you'll see. But in this case, since we were multiplying outside the parentheses, this is vertical stretch.